How's it going y'all? Today I'm going to show you how to get the lifeguard vehicle solo in GTA Online. We used to be able to purchase this vehicle from Warstock Cash and Carry. Unfortunately, Rockstar had removed it from the website. And currently, it's a rare vehicle, which I'm going to show you how to get it in this video. Firstly, you need to be owning the salvage yard business. If you want to know how to buy and set up the salvage yard business, I'll be providing the link in the description below. Once you open the salvage yard, you just want to get inside of your salvage yard and you want to ensure that you have the cargo ship robbery available for that week. Every week, there are going to be three random robberies that you're able to choose from the computer inside of your salvage yard. For this week, luckily, we have the cargo ship robbery available, which you can select from this Buffalo EVX, the vehicle on the most left. All you have to do is just start this mission. If you haven't done the scope out mission yet, you have to do that mission first. If you already done it, you just have to get out of your salvage yard. Once you're outside, you want to be looking for this green colored duffel bags icons on your map. You want to be finding the duffel bag icon that is near the Ferris wheel at the beach. If the green duffel bag icons are not near the beach, you just have to join a new session until you find one. For example, we have a duffel bag icon that is not near the beach. As you can see here, it's down near the Elysian Islands. You don't want to be starting the job here. You just want to join a new session and go to Del Perro Beach near the Ferris wheel. There'll be a duffel bag icon. If you approach the area, you'll see on the top left of your screen, you see press the right D-pad to contact Jamal and begin stealing flares for the cargo ship robbery. You want to start this job and then Jamal will ask you to grab the flares. All you have to do is just go inside the area and then find a box of flares. You want to grab it and then you just want to go to an open area. You don't want to return the flares to your salvage yard yet. You just have to wait. As you guys can see, all the lifeguards will start attacking you. Even they don't have any weapons, they're all just going to be going at you trying to mow you down. You can kill them easily because they can't shoot you back and then you just have to wait for the yellow lifeguard vehicle to arrive. All you have to do is just get inside of this vehicle. Remember you can't save this vehicle inside of your garage or your property. So I'm going to show you the method right here. So you want to take this vehicle back to your salvage yard. Once you've arrived at your salvage yard, you don't want to drive the car to the big yellow circle. You just want to park near the yellow circle and then get out of this vehicle and then just deliver the quest item by walking into the small yellow circle. And you'll complete the flare mission and then you'll be inside of your salvage yard. All you have to do is just quickly walk out of your salvage yard and you'll see your lifeguard vehicle will still be there. All right, the next thing to do is just get inside of your lifeguard and then you want to go to this location near the beach is the like the lifeguard tower go there with the lifeguard vehicle as you can see here on my first trip i can't see any lifeguard vehicle spawning there so all you have to do is just drive like half a mile away and then come back to this location as you can see on my second try there's a lifeguard vehicle that's spawning near the tower right here take note there are multiple varieties of these lifeguard vehicles i think some of them you can get with a bull bar and some you can't and some other variations that you guys can try to find once you find it you just have to get inside the lifeguard vehicle that just spawned and then drive it inside of your garage now you have successfully owned the lifeguard vehicle all you have to do is just drive it to the nearest ls customs and then put a tracker to permanently save it as your personal vehicle so that's how you get lifeguard vehicle solo if the cargo ship robbery is not available on that particular week you can always wait for the next week or the coming weeks if you can't wait you can always join the discord link in the description below where people are helping each other out you just have to borrow the lifeguard from one of the community members and then you just have to drive to the same area the lifeguard guard tower there until the lifeguard vehicle spawns and then you can drive and save them inside of your garage so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you find this video useful be sure to hit the subscribe for more future gta videos this is joe and i'll see you next time